Hey our friends, we're gonna draw a border collie today. Yeah, we hope you have a marker and some paper and you're gonna follow along with us. Yes. We're gonna start by drawing his eye. We're gonna draw a little circle right here. And I also left a little white dot inside of it so that it looks like the light's reflecting off his eyes. It looks shiny. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw his other eye. We're gonna draw it right next to it. And I'm gonna draw it a little more squished. So it's the same height, but it's not as wide. Good. Now right here, we're gonna draw his nose coming out. He's gonna have kind of a pointy nose. Good. And then we're gonna draw a line that comes down and curves back. And I stopped right under his eye, his right eye. Good. Now over here, let's draw his nose. And then we can also draw his little mouth coming back. Okay, now let's draw his forehead. Now it's gonna start right here. It's gonna go over the top of his head, over the top of his eyes. And then we're gonna draw his first ear. We're gonna draw a V because we're gonna draw his ears floppy. Now we're gonna draw the top of his ear that comes over and then back down. Good, and then right here we can draw another V for the inside of his ear. Okay, now let's draw his second ear. We're gonna draw a V that's sideways. That's so it looks like it's pointing the other direction. And then we're gonna draw the top. We're gonna repeat the same step, it comes over the top and then connects to the top of his head. Good, and then we can draw the inside of his ear. So let's draw one line there. And then we can draw two lines inside for the inside of his ear. Yeah, there we go, we did it. He's got some cool floppy ears. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the side of his head right here. We're gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down and it's gonna curve around for his cheek. There you go, good job. Okay, now let's draw the front of his chest and his neck. We're gonna draw an S line that comes down Good, and then we're gonna draw some really long zigzags to finish his chest. So it comes under a little bit further. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw his first front leg. We're gonna draw a line that starts up in his chest and then comes down. Okay, now let's draw the back of his leg. We're gonna, draw, we're gonna start wide, but then we're gonna come close to his ankle. And we're gonna draw really long zigzags to come down to his ankle. Now this line on the back, we're gonna draw it longer for the back of his paw. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of his paw coming underneath. And then we can draw a big curve, that big rainbow line that comes back for his paw. Yeah, good job. Now we can also add toes in there if we want. <laughs> That's a pretty easy way to draw a paw, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his second leg, his second front leg. We're gonna draw another line right next to it. And then we can draw his paw coming out and then curving back up and connecting. Okay, now we can also add two toes or two toe lines. <laughs> we did it, we drew his two front legs. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the back of his neck. We're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a line that comes down diagonal. Yes, okay, now we're gonna draw his back and it's gonna curve around and down. Yeah, good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw his back leg. So I'm gonna add a couple more zigzags, just little ones. And then we're gonna curve back and down. Good, now we want this line to end at the same, same height as his front legs. And that's okay, it's a little lower. But next time we can practice so yes. that it's the same length. Okay, now let's draw his paw on the back. So we're gonna draw the bottom part of his paw coming forward. And we're gonna do that same rainbow line that comes back and we want it to look the same as his front paws. Good, okay, and then we can add the two toe lines. Now we're gonna start right here and we're gonna curve up for the front of his leg. And then we're gonna do zigzags back up to his body. 
Good job. Now we can connect and draw his belly. And I'm going to draw these kind of big zigzag lines because he's a little furry. Okay, what's he missing? His other leg. His other leg? We yeah. need to draw four legs. Okay, so let's draw. We're going to draw right next to his other back leg. So we'll draw a little zigzag coming down. We're matching the front of his other leg. So we're going to curve down just like we did here. Then we can draw his little paw coming out and curving up and around. There we go. Now add those two toe lines. And we did it. We got all four legs. Yeah. Okay, now if we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video. All right, we need to draw his tail. So we're going to draw a curve. They have a little bit longer tails. And then right at the end, we're going to just slightly curve back the other direction. Okay, now we're going to draw the bottom of his tail curving this way. And we're going to do a zigzag line that connects into his body. <laughs> you got it. Good. All right, we finished drawing our dog, except it's going to look more like a border collie once we do what? Color him. Yes, we got to color him. Now this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, Jack, we did it. You did such a great job on coloring your border collie. He looks very realistic because you added those short strokes for his fur. Yeah. Now, I also really like the shading that you added on his back legs. That makes him look a lot more 3D. And he looks more like a border collie now that we've added the spots too. Yes. If you like this lesson, be sure to click the little circle so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do this Monday through Friday. Yeah, and after you do that, click the bell icon so you get notified when we do a new video. Also down here in the corner, we have a playlist of all of our cool dog lessons. We hope you have fun drawing with us and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.